Hello, Zany friends. I am Marshall. And she's not here. But we do have a lot to share with you today. What you might have noticed is that a lot of our artwork has been changed to a new style. Uh, we have been using what's been known as cosplabels, where we have our own stable of characters wearing outfits um, and painting themselves up or having wigs for other things uh, that you might see in some of our more recent artwork. Some of you might be asking, Marshall, what about all the old stuff? You've got all of these things from Stranger Things, you've got things from Disney that they're all using old artwork. Are you ever going to work on those? And I say to you, you just triggered my trap card. Flip it around. Okay. Here we have some of our newly rebranded artwork, but we're starting with commission scents. Uh, those scents that have been, people have paid to have us create the scent for them. Um, and before, they didn't have any artwork on the label. Uh, they just had Hershey's head and a description. So now we're going to go ahead and give them some art uh, to keep them up with appearances. Uh, here you have Silver Screen Sirens, and this was created by Andrea Trombino, and it was inspired by Marilyn Monroe and all those, you know, Silver Age uh, beauties and all of that. So we have Colada uh, dressed up in as Marilyn Monroe uh, from Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. There you go. Uh, next up, we have Hugo's Girl, and this was created by Megan Hilt, and uh, a lot of people were kind of confused as to what this was referring to, and now you can tell. This is Esmeralda from Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, since the name didn't directly state who it was, nobody really got it, but now you can see her in the picture. Um, I actually really like the look of this one. And here we have Death by Stereo. Um, this one is based off of Lost Boys. I've never actually seen Lost Boys, um, so I don't know any of the characters, but she had a very... Um, Laura Budzinski had a very particular character in mind uh, when she created this scent. So we have Hershey dressed up as that guy. And uh, Laura, when you uh, see this video, go ahead and comment down below his name. Um, uh, the only name that I remember off the top of my head is David. Uh, initially, I had done the art uh, for David, uh, but I found out that I was using the wrong character. Oops. And this is for Two Windmills. Two Windmills is from Amelie. And we have Ravenna dressed up as Amelie. This was uh, submitted by Kara Murray. And uh, just so you can see, because Amelie is kind of a basic hometown girl kind of look. So just so you know who it is, we've got the spoon from the poster that we have for the movie. And finally, we have To the Moon and Back. Uh, this is based off of Inside Out, specifically the character Bing Bong. This was submitted by Meg Blackett. So we have Waldo, and he is all dressed up and painted as Bing Bong. Uh, you've got the tail, you've got, you've got him strapped on with a trunk on his, on his nose. Um, normally, he's just got a little tiny button nose. Um, and that's all we have for this month. However, that does not mean that I am done. Uh, we're going to be going back through all of our previous scents. Um, we are going to be weeding out some ones that aren't quite as popular, aren't selling quite so well. And those that remain, I am going to be doing new artwork for. And um, you might have seen, uh, last month I did go through our Star Wars collection. So, what's next? We'll find out. Until next time, stay zany.